Afrobeat's poster child, Whiskey, turns 33 years old today. And to celebrate one of our very own cultural icons, let's take a look at his iconic musical journey from being a mere studio rat to a global icon. Before 2011, the Nigerian culture frowned at teenagers doing music as a profession. It's either education or trade. But there was a culture shift when Banky W unveiled 21 years old whiskey with his first single, Holla at Your Boy. He followed it up with a superstar album. It was a moment where every young Nigerian started dreaming of becoming a superstar like Whiskey. To many, Whiskey's career as an artist started here, but unknowingly to them, he has been jumping studios three years prior. He had recorded his first record at 11 years old. Can you imagine that? The huge success of Holla at Your Boy got Whiskey into some higher echelons at that very young age. Wiz knew he was the first of his kind in the industry, so he never got carried away despite the flashy lifestyle he had access to at the early age. Wake up living that good life, I love my life, bad man can't stop my shine, oh. Uh, that's just, that's, that's just the thing for me, just making music. I love good music, I love, I love being in the studio, man, I love it here, you know. I love being in the studio with young acts as well, so. He knew that in order to remain the blueprint, he needed to master his music craft. So he continued to learn. He learned from Fella, from Banky W, Wanderco, Don Jazzy, MI, and the P Square Brothers. With the huge success of the Superstar album, Whiskey became the youngest Afrobeat artist to begin selling out shows in Nigeria. And as his popularity grew, so did the demand to watch him perform. He and his then team began expanding and selling out shows across Africa and in the UK. Back home, record labels realized the immense success Banky W had achieved with Whiskey and began a hunt for young talent. It wasn't a difficult task for them as young teenagers who had already seen Whiskey perform wanted to follow in his footstep. The only hurdle was convincing their Nigerian parents that music was a good profession. And what other reference do they have to show than Whiskey's success? As the years got by, some of Whiskey's biggest fans turned into his music colleagues. Wiz was big, everything. So I was like, Phew, damn, what do I do? What do I do? Um, but let me not be greedy. People inside the industry helped me a lot. Wiz, one day, to Don Jazzy, especially. You know what I'm saying? I didn't just come. I went to see everybody. I was like, hey, look, this is what I'm planning to do. They told me their own ideas. Because um, Banky and a um, couple of other people in the industry were really supporting Wiz big time, and I had a collaboration with him. So that gave me a little bit edge as well. So it made things a bit easier for me. Uh, Wiz was already popping. You feel me? So, yeah, I dropped like the party and she just went super crazy and he just loved it. All thanks to Wizkid for showing them that a career in music at that young age was possible. He single-handedly gave birth to a new generation of Afrobeats artists. I guess you can call him daddy because he's the father of the new generation of Afrobeat music. For sure, Whiskey came into the game as a superstar and since he came into the game, he never fell off. He couldn't be replaced, even after over a decade. Whiskey's ability to experiment with different sounds in his music projects played an essential role in the continuous development of the Afrobeat culture. Hence why he remains the greatest. Now let's take a quick look at his music project. Superstar 2011, Ayo 2012, 
2014, Sounds from the Other Side 2017, Made in Lagos 2020, More Love Less Ego 2022. This project, including collaborations, have earned him over 150 awards and certifications globally, making him the most decorated Afrobeats artist. He single-handedly stopped the discrimination against African art at the BET by refusing to take an award backstage and calling out the organizers. He is the only African art to sell out three nights at the O2 Arena, the first Afrobeat art to debut on the Billboard Hot 100 and to reach number one on the chart, the first Afrobeat art to have an RIAA platinum song, the first Afrobeat art to win a Grammy, and lots more. Whiskey is now 33 years old and is not done yet. He still has more music to give and more love to spread. Let's celebrate an icon, a national hero, a pioneer, and a father of the new generation of Afrobeats music. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share. Thank you.